guys, so if I sound sick, it's because I am. I get asked about my coontails all the time, so I just wanted to make a simple little video and show you guys how I do that. Only need two things. First thing I use is little clip-in extensions. I get mine from Claire's just because I'm in the mall and that's what I have nearby, but any synthetic clip-ins should do. Uh, I guess you could use human hair if you want to go that route. I just put them in my wig, so it doesn't really matter. They're really cheap. They're like $6 a piece. Claire's always has the buy three, get three free going on, so I got like six packs of them. So I can do a bunch of different ones. I like to change them in and out of my wigs. So you need your little clip-in extensions and a Sharpie. Any Sharpie or off-brand permanent marker will do. Just make sure it's nice and fresh. Okay, so I'm going to lay everything out and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, I mean, duh, open it because you're not going to be able to do anything from inside the plastic. And then just take a brush and make sure you get, like, out any tangles, any stray hairs, like, they're cheap extensions, so you're going to have a lot of, like, shedding and stuff. So you just want it to be as smooth out as possible because if you don't, you're going to fuck it up and you don't want to fuck up something simple. So just, yeah, comb that shit out. And then you want to anchor it somewhere sturdy. I here am using my tripod, like, the camera's a certain way. Anyways... So it's anchored onto my tripod, and I leave it on to that plastic, like the plastic that it comes on where the, you know, what it's clipped to. I'm good at words. English major. Hi. Uh, yeah, so leave it on that plastic, and then I just, like, anchor that plastic to, like, whatever I can. You'll have to be creative, but yeah, I use my tripod with my heavy-ass camera. And then as I go and work... um with a really thin line this marker I'm using it's like a big one I stole it from work um it bleeds a lot because you know these extensions are synthetic so uh you know it's not like natural hair so it's gonna bleed when you put it on there so just start small and then you can always make them thicker but you can't make them thinner once they're already like hashtag hella thick so just try to like work slow and as I work you'll see me like going back and smoothing it down quite a bit because you want it to be super duper smooth and straight. You want to be fairly precise because if like you have any uneven hairs and stuff, that's how you're going to wind up with like more of a zebra pattern than like a stripe, which is totally okay if that's what you're going for. But if you just want like the classic stripe, you you want to be a little more precise about it. And then I just keep working my way up and down, you know, as I go downward, when you're moving the hair and smoothing it out and tugging on it as you work, you're going to reveal more hairs that didn't get any color to them. So I just always go back and fill in any negative spaces that I see, like make sure it's really saturated and through. And it's really helpful because a lot of times it'll kind of get it through the backside too. So when I go to do the back side of it, it's much easier. So now we're on the back side, and what I do is I literally use that same piece of plastic, but I just flip the extension upside down. Because I just, I don't know. I still need it on that plastic, so just flip it upside down and then tug the hair towards you. It should be fine. This side doesn't have to be as perfect because it's less visible. You just want to make sure it's saturated. And as you can see, like... You, you can see the, the bleeding that came through from doing the front. So this side is always much easier, a lot quicker. Because you already have that guideline of like where the stripe needs to be. So you just want to keep working it in there. And I don't know, getting it looking nice. I feel like a broken record at this point. Like you can use a Sharpie and draw a stripe on a piece of hair. But I'm just trying to be technical and like teach you something I guess I don't know I'm dumb this whole thing's dumb I'm so sorry just while I'm thinking about it another plus of um leaving it on the plastic is obviously the sharpie gets fucking everywhere so it saves your countertops your placemats whatever but yeah we're done I did a few more of those and then now I'm going to show you just putting them into my wig 
there's like nothing special about it. I just go through and here I'm just trying to decide which ones I want to show in the bangs. And this took way longer than it should have. Like, it should be pretty self-explanatory, just taking something and clipping it into a wig. But I'm very meticulous about where things are and where they should go. So, yeah, I just spent time trying to decide which ones I wanted. I put these, like, blue-purple ones in the front. Kind of hate it now. I wish I would have done the rainbow ones in the front, but I don't know. I kind of like where the rainbow ones hang down. Even though these are clip-ins and, like, super easy to take in and out, I just take so long putting them in, so I tried to do enough of them that I can just, like, put certain ones in all of my wigs and then leave them there and never have to take them out because I'm just, I'm very lazy. I'm such a lazy person. Also, you can see, like, where I got sloppy with doing this one because I think this was one of the last ones I did and I'd already been at it for over an hour because it takes forever and I wasn't as precise with this one so it's got like more of that zebra thing going on but it's fine I like how each one comes out different and it's very like handmade looking like self dye job which is kind of the entirety of the scene look. It's like a very at home, in your bathroom at 3 a.m., having a Britney Spears breakdown. Like, that's that's what we're going for. And then in the wigs, I feel like it's easier to put it in the bangs and, like, cover it because you can, like, really move it, hairspray it all to hell. I had so much trouble right here. Look at me fucking struggle. I love that for me. I was also trying to work around these cat ears because it took me like two hours to get the cat ears exactly where I wanted them and I did not want to disturb them. So the other coontails that I put in, I probably would have put them in the spot where the ears are, but I had to try to work around them. I feel like this would be nicer if I added in, like, some background music, but I'm really bad at doing that, and iMovie is, like, really fucking weird with that, so I'm just not gonna bother. I'm just gonna let you sit in the awkward silence. Also really upset and offended that you hear the little clicky button noise every time I end the recording on my mic. And if anyone's wondering why my arm looks weird, I have Saniderm on my arm because the tattoo you saw earlier, the Gur one, on my wrist when I was doing the stripes, that was like brand spanking new. Like I literally had just gotten home from the shop and started working on this. So I have Saniderm on my arm and it's awesome. You either love it or hate it, but... It's like this cellophane thing. It's like the stuff that they use to keep IVs in your arm at hospitals. It's essentially the same thing, but it's the laziest way to heal tattoos. So it gets kind of gross and gunky in there. It got so nasty with my Hello Kitty one, but with this one, it actually wasn't that bad. It's it's off and it's pretty much healed now. It's flaky, but yeah. So it, I have plastic wrap essentially on my arm. So if you catch some weird shininess, like right here, you can see it. So, I just thought I'd let you know in case anyone's like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch's arm? Okay, hairspray, yay, we're done! Woohoo! Look how cute she is, I love her. I want to be her. Oh yeah, show off that final result. I'm like the best cameraman, look at me go. Wow, loving it. Yeah, this is actually my favorite wig. I thought it turned out really cute. Okay, yay, ending stuff, woo, it's over, you don't have to listen to me anymore, bye.